Wegrasht follows the intriguing and often audacious story of serial entrepreneur Adam Newman, Jared Leto, who hits upon the idea of shared workspaces and subsequently builds a company called WooWork. The story follows the young company's meteoric rise and its CEO's eventual ousting for a variety of factors. Interestingly, one of the central plot lines of the Apple TV Plus series is also the romance between Adam and his girlfriend turned wife, Rebecca, Anne Hathaway. A lot goes down in the opening episodes of the series, which sees the larger than life CEO essentially told that he's fired. Simultaneous flashbacks also detail how work and the relationship between Adam and Rebecca started. The journey ahead is going to be a bumpy one, so let's make sure we've picked up all the details from Wekrash to Episodes 1. Episode 1 of Wekrash starts Wednesday, September 18, 2019. Wurk welcomes Adam Newman and his wife, Rebecca, into the office, but the board have called an emergency meeting. A news article about Adam causing the company to spiral out of control has released, and Adam could be on his way out. As you may expect, we then cut back 12 years ago as Adam tries to find a golden business opportunity. He's down on his luck, and everywhere he turns he's receiving blanket no s. He even pitches a concept living idea, a foreshadowed glimpse of his upcoming business, but it doesn't work. However, his words do spur the interest of him and call Miguel, who happens to have cheap office space available. So Adam decides to tag along and see this for himself. That night at the college dorm, Adam meets Rebecca at a party. She rejects him outright though, but Adam is persistent and even shows up at yoga where she's teaching a group. Eventually she does succumb and agree to go out for dinner, but in doing so, things go sour. The pair end up arguing, with Rebecca giving a scathing assessment of Adam's failed business ventures. It doesn't deter Adam though, who shows up at the studio the next day, after hearing about her monetary woes, sticking up for Rebecca in front of her boss. In doing so, she changes her opinion of him, and the pair start kissing. Despite the pair dating, Rebecca still isn't convinced that Adam has what it takes to sell. She tells him he needs to be passionate about what he's selling, and she doesn't see that right now. Adam takes these words with him to work the next day, deciding to team up with Miguel and launch his new business venture. Only, it's Miguel who's doing most of the work, while Adam presents himself as a salesman. After drawing up a pitch for something called Greendesk, an investor called Randall takes an interest, while Adam works his magic to sell the entire concept. It's essentially workspace they're pitching, and it doesn't take long before the place is completely abuzz with people. However, the time is not good, given it's off the back of the housing crash, and after selling their company off to Randall for 500k, Adam and Miguel find themselves struggling until Adam gets a burst of inspiration. Miguel and Adam meet a guy called Yevgeny Risikov who happens to have some office space available. The place is a mess, though and needs a tremendous amount of renovation. Adam manages to convince him to see what he sees. There's a really slick number of pop-up graphics here, showing what could be with a bit of effort. Risikov agrees to invest in Adam and Miguel's company. And that number? $15 million and 18 cents in exchange for one-third of their company. Only, they don't actually have a company or a business prospect just now, so that's a risky play. Fast forward to 2019, and we're back in the meeting with Adam and the board members. He gushes over how well their business is doing, but his slippery words don't work on the suits. They reject his idea of an IPO and eventually get down to brass tacks. The board have voted, and he's out of the company.